got a couple of uh, pieces of wood here different uh, thickness and different uh, types of wood as well so this is about as big as my the palm of my hand I would actually not go any bigger than this when it comes to the Nordic pocket saw uh, I found that they, it kind of stucks if you go any bigger than this so we're gonna also try to litter uh, the smaller pieces and see how it works there okay so when I grab it I make sure that I hold it like this keep it straight stand up somewhat straight as well with my back straight and then I don't use my biceps like this I more work with my arm straight and using the back and then I put my foot here just to sort of secure it down make sure that doesn't go anywhere and then simply just There we got it. All right, let's try the other pieces. Same thing, standing somewhat straight, using your back, not your arms, securing with your foot, and then As you probably saw, this piece was a lot quicker since it's also a lot smaller. This is not even the size of my palm. I don't got that big of a hands, but still pretty fast. So with this one and this sort of piece, I see, I'd say this is the uh, ideal size because you get a lot of chainsaw uh, around here. So you can work it off pretty quick if you got a big amount um, of wood like this, or if you're, say, let's you're on a um, a winter hike and you need a lot of firewood to stay warm and whatnot this would be a great way to use it and get a bunch of these cut pretty fast next one up a little bit thicker piece different material different type of wood don't think it should be a problem There you go. All right, so lastly we got the uh, birch. Should also not be a problem. Let's go. Actually the same thing here, you get a lot of long beautiful strokes since the uh, thickness of this one is not that, or it's not that thick. Um, so this is, yeah again, about the size that I would go.
With the Nordic pocket saw you also get a little pouch you can keep it in in here and there's a little loop there on the back as well so you can put it on your belt and have it with you at all times. Uh, when you get back don't forget to oil it. Uh, could use some oil every once in a while to stay smooth. Cuts like a knife every time. Really hope you guys enjoyed this uh, review. If you have any questions or comments just drop them down below and I'll answer them as soon as I can. If you like this, com this, if you like this comment please subscribe. Yeah, if you like this video, please subscribe, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you have uh, anything you want to tell me, just let me know either here on YouTube or you can find me on Instagram and Facebook as well. I got a hammock back there calling for me, so I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.